Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. Let's learn with mechanical engineer. So today we are going to design a garden seat or a bench. As you can see it on the screen. So let's begin with the design. Begin with the easiest part. First I'll draw the pipes. Sorry. Make two concentric circles. Dimensions MS 16 mm diameter and other being 12 mm. Now just extrude this thing by 1600 mm. Yes. This is the pipe. Let's save this part. Desktop. I'll make a new folder. Bench. Pipe. Just close this thing. Again, take a new part. Now just sketch the seed part. Make it 300 mm. Draw a horizontal line to give an inclination to it. Give an inclination of 10 degree. Now just select three point arc circle just dimension this thing as radius 170 170 I'll just give a relation to this make it tangential okay again take a line Extended dimension being vertical dimension being four hundred sorry four fifty. Again, I'll give a relation to this tangential. Okay, so this is the sketch for the seat. I'll just offset this thing by 20 mm reverse this yeah. ok just submit of this thing yeah. I'll just connect the sketch similarly over here Now extrude this thing by 50 mm. Okay. Now let's start sketching on this face. Let's make it perpendicular. Take a three point circle again. Start from here. Yes. Make sure the center of the circle is coincident with this face. Use smart dimension and make it as uh, diameter. Diameter should be 16, so radius must be 8. Because uh, I'll show you it. Just take a line, connect these points. Now just extrude cut. Pipe is going to sit in this slot. So now just uh, linear pattern this. Not actually linear pattern. We will do curve driven pattern. Because here the axis is not horizontal. So 
just pattern this thing okay it will pattern up to this line similarly i'll draw a sketch over here on this plane this face open the window okay three point arc circle my dimension as 8 cut extrude again so guys again linear pattern this thing uh not linear actually curve driven pattern you again uh, pattern this So after patterning this thing, it will look some somewhat like this. So now let's save this part. See. Now we'll draw this stand part. Okay. So let's begin with the line. Let's dimension this thing. Lower being hundred. This being two one sixty, and this is two fifty. Now. Just take again three point circle. Small dimension this thing. But first, let me just give this uh, give a relation of tangent. Okay. Now small dimension this thing. Make it one seventy. Okay. Center line to give an angle to it, so that the seat exactly sits on it. Ten degree, and I mentioned this thing as three hundred. So now, again, take a three-point circle. I dimension this 170 because the seat curve was also 170, so we are just trying to match it. Let me state merge. Yes. Okay, this, this tangent. Okay. Now same fashion uh take a three point circle make tangent to it no need to give dimension because we just have to match this thing with yeah okay so now we'll just give an extrude of 50 mm okay just uh, give a fillet to the unnecessary Sharp edges. Example to this surface. It's a good practice actually. You should never keep uh, sharp edges in your for design. Okay. 
I'll see it before that. Actually, we made a mistake over here. We'll make this small. Yeah, this is fine. Sketch on it. Just to make it a lightweight or make it uh, aesthetically good. Just draw a circle and extrude cut it. Let's make dimension extrude cut. So this control is stand. So we are done with the so we are done with the individual part now let's begin with the assembly first select the seat and duplicate the seats press control and left click one more yeah so now just start meeting on the one this sorry made made this phase with this one parallel give a dimension of 700 okay similarly made this phase and this phase parallel and give a dimension of 700 right I will give a 1400 dimension because it's on the same side ok so again these are not the same plane or same line so I will just make the planes respectively the top plane of first and top plane of second yes again the right plane of first and the right plane of second yes now they are aligned same same fashion you can do it for the same fashion you can do it for the third one so now you can see all the seats are, are in the same one aligned direction yes so now let's start inserting tubes one by one Select this mate and select this lot. It's done. Now to select this face and the face of this. Give a panel and give a dimension of hundred mm. So this is how it's going to look. Let's save it. Okay. So the pipe is fixed now. Now just uh, we'll do a pattern again, a curve driven pattern. Direction. This one. Features components to pattern this pipe. I'll just increase this. Make sure to keep the spacing as 35 because we have kept as 35 otherwise it won't fit into the slot. So let's increase this number. Yes. Okay. This similarly press control again. I'll again press control and keep it up. Again let the mate. select the face of this pipe it's the same type same you have to do it with this face and make it a parallel my dimension of 100 okay similarly pattern this thing by curve driven 
so this is how guys it going to look after mating all the pipes with the seeds now we'll again insert another component the stand part okay just place it over here just select this face and this one mate similarly okay similarly uh, select this face and this face mate okay select this face and this face mate done so this is how you can mate all the three parts so guys this is how the final assembly is going to look like now just give an appearance to it i'll give a painted powder coat to just drag and place it over here just select stand stand to all i'm sorry stand one okay similarly i am giving the same appearance to this sheet yes so guys we are almost done this is how our sheet going to look thank you very much for watching my video if you guys liked it please subscribe thank you